Hello everybody and welcome to a Beyblade Burst review of Divine Belial or not a review, a unboxing, whatever, same, uh, you know what, review, unboxing, whatever. <laughs> so this is part of the new BU system that they're doing for DB. This is technically Dynamite Battles Chapter 2 or Season 2 or DB2. Um, DB2 does not have its anime at all. There is no manga whatsoever. So, yeah, could this be the end of Beyblade? Who knows? I know there's going to be a couple of releases coming out, like a new Curveus, and that's about it. Oh, and I think Achilles might be coming out. I'm not too sure on that. I just know that Curve is 100% is coming out. There's already pictures out there, so if you guys want to see them, just go search it up. Um, so, anyways, yeah, so there is no anime, sadly. What a shame. Uh, this is Divine Belial. This is a, I wouldn't say an evolution. Yeah, this is an evolution I don't, of Dangerous and Dynamite. I do not own a Dangerous Belial, sadly, so I won't be able to show you or compare it, but I could compare it with Dynamite Belial, I guess, since it does use similar parts to what I've been seeing. So, uh, yeah, uh, packaging looks fine. There is no anime artwork at all. It is showcasing that it actually does have metal, and, of course, uh, Belial 2 does have that burst stopper still. Um, what else? It is also showing Raphael, that's about it. Uh, high mode, low mode, uh, all that stuff, I guess. Now, for part to part, we have um, Belial 2 with the burst stopper gimmick, uh, Divine Belial with the new metal blades, uh, 3 Nexus. Oh, so like what I said, yeah. It is reusing a part, so Nexus, and a new driver called Adventure. It does look like Venture almost, but apparently it's not. So we want to see uh, sticker placements, the uh, specs, want to see that. Oh, and showcasing the gears. So here we have three new gears coming out for Belio. We have the blue one, which is a D gear. A1 the the red one is a gear and the yellow one I'm not too sure what it is I don't think anybody actually knows the name of it if you guys do know what it is leave down in the comments I don't think they're act they actually release any information about that but it's there it is also compatible with the older gears like L gear F gear V gear and S gear um so that's about it for the box it is also showcasing the three parts right here yeah that's about it so let me bring up so here we have belial 2 chip it does have the burst stopper by the way i already put the stickers on this save you guys the troubles so it really looks nice i love it i think this looks more better than dangerous Belial. oh it just fell off the table wow anyways <laughs> so yeah it has like that red bright metallic color to it i love that it's very bright i love that color honestly it just looks very appealing to me uh we have yeah Belial right there in the center uh it does feature that burst stopper so just like dangerous it also has a burst stopper on divine as well or not the blade but the chip <laughs> belial 2 so yes um apparently i have seen rumors that some the mold for belial 2 is kind of broken um meaning that the burst stopper does get stuck to the point where it's basically impossible to like fix it to like get it unstuck so watch out for that um yeah i'm kind of scared that this also might be broken i don't know 
So we will have to see. Uh, next piece, we have Divine. It does have the metal blades right here. There's like metal right here, metal right here, metal right here. It does look like ultimate almost in a way. It yeah, it kinda it kind of looks like ultimate. Kinda. <laughs> so that's kinda cool, I guess. Um it is <laughs> extremely thin. Like it is really thin. So I would be very careful not to break it because this looks like it can break it's very thin right here especially um apparently it's very flexible which i do feel it that it is actually very flexible but regardless watch out um yeah so next piece we have three it looks pretty nice uh nothing too special no stickers not a it's just there, I guess. Uh, next is a reused part for the from Dynamite. So again, nothing too special. It can use the S gear. Now for the new driver, which is Adventure. So like I said, it looks really similar to Adventure. Let me bring it out here. So they look very, very similar. Um, even the symbols in the back. See if I can get it. Uh, I don't think I can get it to focus. But it is exactly the same. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so the difference is they, okay, sure, they both feature rubber right here. So what venture had a rubber circle right here. Um, that's about it. It can grip to the stadium more, which it doesn't usually grip to the stadium because of how it is. Like I said, um, it, it doesn't really grip to the stadium as much. Even if Divine, not Divine, even if Dynamite Belio is considered an attack type, believe me, it does not act like an attack type. It acts more of a uh, balance type. Now, for Adventure, it has these claw things. Um, it still has the rubber. Now, it's just like this push and claw with the spring. Like, it's a spring thing, I guess. Uh, so, this... Apparently, I have seen videos that it actually does work since it is very like this is very exposed to the stadium, like really exposed actually. So, it does work, it is really quick, it does live up to its typing of being an attack type. Um, but yeah, it does push in. I'm not sure what that's for, I'm assuming, so it can adapt to battle to like a different height changes. So I can just go in and out. Uh, but yeah, that's about it for Adventure. It does look nice. Uh, we are about to see it in battle. Oh yeah, it is compatible with V gear. As you can see, the little gaps here. So let's put it together. Here we have Divine Belio in all its glory. And it is all put together. <laughs> so again, I already put the stickers, so don't worry. It looks really nice, honestly. Again, that red metallic, it's really standing out. And I actually am liking it. Um, it is extremely thin, like I said. So watch out <laughs> to break this thing. Uh, other than that, yeah, it looks really nice. It has some weight to it. You know, maybe because of the metal blades, I don't know. It does have some weight to it, so... Now, let's put on the gears. Actually, no. First, let's put it in high mode. Let me change the camera position right there. Let's put it in high mode. I would normally just skip this part, but whatever. Okay, there we go. 
Nice. So, I put it on the wrong way. Wow. Beer. Okay. So, we have it in high mode. It looks nice. I guess. I, I kind of wish they put stickers on three. You know, maybe like that like red, I guess. Um, this gap looks nasty. It looks ter terrible. I do not know what they were thinking. This is like the biggest. This Beyblade has the biggest gap in a oh, Beyblade. You can't even see the spring. That's that's how. Oh my. That's kind of. I definitely wouldn't be using high mode at all on this thing. This looks like yeah. This is definitely gonna break. We put it in high mode. It, it looks like you can just like pull it off at that point it just looks weird uh other than that yeah it's not very appealing in high mode i don't usually use high mode for my beyblades whatsoever except the gap i know it's uh, it's better for the height i guess but honestly i just prefer low mode so let's slap on the gears so now we put on the gears so we have l gear right here gold l gear um, F gear. It looks really nice. Honestly, it doesn't look too bad. It does cover up that red metallic chip back there, which I do love the colors on. But other than that, it does look nice. Um, we have F gear, like, so here, as I can see, it does cover that big gap right here in the blade. So it's not, so I guess. Uh, I guess it's good with the gears. I, yeah, I guess the vine could actually be better just with the gears only, honestly. I wouldn't recommend using it without gears. Um, because of how thin the blade is itself, it's very thin. So, you know, L gear, F gear, it just makes it better in terms of, like, width. Um, so it's not going to break easily. And, of course, F gear is really good. I do not know if F gear is going to perform well in on the vine. I know it does good with dynamite. There's a lot of dynamite F gear combos out there. So we will have to see if it's actually still good, but with the, the vine. Um, L gear adds more weight. Uh, F gear adds rubber to it. Uh, S gear, you can it's free spinning when on right, I think. Yeah. Or something like that it's free spinning and then you could flip it over i won't do it but you can flip it over and it's gonna be locked so it can't free spin uh v gear so this is really interesting so i noticed that the little rubber things actually did get pushed back when i put on the v gear so if you take it off uh these things pop out when we put it back on it gets pushed in so this reminds me a lot like charge kind of in a way uh, especially how the tip is shaped and everything and then there's like that metal surrounding so it is it's really it looks like charge it might actually just act like charge which i have no issues with charge to me was okay it really wasn't an issue to me so yeah i honestly at the same time it's like why like, if you're going to put on the gears, what was the point of hiding the rubber piece? Honestly, I kind of wish the rubber piece would stay. It just really takes the gimmick away, I guess. So, it's whatever, I guess. So, putting it together, again, also, by the way, uh, when putting on V-gear, it does push on this spring right here. So, it technically turns it into a dash driver. It's not a dash driver, but technically it's a lot tighter with uh, V-Gear. So, yeah, there it is. Uh, perfect or perfect Divine Belial, I guess you can say. It looks nice, honestly. It looks really nice. Um, so, comparing it to Divine, I will show you, the, uh, not Divine, uh, Dynamite with... All the gears uh, which I don't have a copy of the gears but I will show you how dynamite looks like with the gears so here's the vine with the gears and then here's dynamite with the gear 
here we have the dynamite with the gears. Um, as you can see, it's very circular. So I still feel like dynamite. It's still technically better due to its shape. But we have to see. We have to do a taste the test battle with um, divine. So uh, let's get on to that. So we are going to do a test battle with divine without the gears, and then a test battle with uh, with the gears. So let me put all this together and then we should get started. So we're on the floor right now. We're going to be using my, my very old broken stadium. I'm saving up money and I'm hoping these videos can help me save money for a new Takara Tomy Burst Standard Stadium, which I really do hope. So test um, first battle. Well, actually, we're going to do a test spin for divine and then we're gonna do a test battle against Raphael and then maybe against dynamite Belia without the gears obviously on um, that's for another video <laughs> so let's get started so it is very very aggressive around the stadium like extremely and I that's why I feel like it is better or not better that's why I still feel like dynamite is still better because again it yeah see it's running out of stadium uh, not stadium what did I just say it's running out of stamina wow my language today my grammar today. I, I see see there we go my grammar today damn <laughs> we don't talk about that here we go another one I can see it's very very aggressive around the stadium like very aggressive. I really do need a new stadium though. This stadium has seen hell. There's like a bunch of gaps. There's a gap here. Thankfully not a base I actually go through there. I do really need a new stadium. <laughs> oh god. Okay. So there's that. So it does run out of st uh, stamina really fast, like extremely fast. So let's lap on the gears. Actually, first before we actually do slap on the gears, I actually do want to do a battle against dynamite. So let's get that over with. Okay, okay, buddy. <laughs> We get that. Uh, yeah, let's put on the gear. So we slapped on the gears. So let's do a battle against Raphael, and then I should just wrap the video from there. That's pretty chill, you know. My reason is because the rubber's not exposed. It's not gonna be as aggressive. Um, it's doing, huh? It's not doing as bad. Oh wow, that it scraped really hard. Oh damn, let's see one more. Okay, so there's that um so in summary it is uh it's okay it's not the greatest thing that it's not very competitive i guess i wouldn't say it's super competitive maybe if we find some combos i might do some combo videos at this so yeah i wouldn't say it's the greatest thing to come out of beyblade and like for them to make uh, I still feel like dynamite is still superior just because of how circular it is with the F gear, honestly. Uh, but besides that, it's an okay release, mostly just for the looks alone, I guess. Um, 
in terms of you know competitive you know i just i honestly i wouldn't really recommend it until you guys find an actual combo like i wouldn't recommend using stock whatsoever just don't use stock uh maybe with all the gears on it might actually do well it did well against Raphael's second battle um but it does scrape so watch out um but besides that i hope you guys enjoy this video i will do a follow-up video as well again um of these two battling dynamite versus divine uh so yeah i hope you guys enjoy peace out also yeah subscribe like um leave down a comment whatever it's gonna help me a lot and see in the future so cheerio